Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just another quick video. Today we're going to be looking at the Omnibar Amplified Indoor Outdoor Antenna from Antop. This antenna has a 75 mile diameter range. The model number for this is AT-420B. Right on the side of the box it says it's omnidirectional reception, so 360 degrees, amplified with SmartPass technology, and a quick and easy setup. Right on the back it says you can use it on the city indoors, suburbs, and the rural areas. It also says you can use it indoor, outdoor, and RV. It comes with a 5G LTE filter, blocks 3G, 4G, and 5G signals for noise-free TV reception. You can put it on the roof, wall, attic, and indoors. Now, if you do purchase this antenna and you need help or have any questions, they have an email, website, and a phone number you can call. All right, so we're gonna do a quick unbox of this antenna. All right, so let's get started. Here we have, looks like the amplifier. This is a 26 foot coaxial cable. We have some mounting hardware, in case you need to mount it outside or in the attic. And there is the antenna. This antenna seems to be a pretty good size, uh, pretty light. This is the back of it. It also comes with very detailed instructions with pictures on how to set this up. It also comes with very detailed instructions if you want to do some pole mounting, wall mounting, uh, or if you want to mount it outside. It's also going to have some instructions on how to set up your TV using this antenna. All right, we have a little cardboard box here. Looks like this is the stand or a wall mount. And power. Looks like you will need power and this will connect to your amplifier. We'll get into this in a minute. All right, so we are going to start putting this antenna together. This bracket here is going to give you three options. The first option is going to be a stand. So we are going to put this together here. That's how it looks right there. You set it on the table and it becomes a stand. Now it is recommended to put an antenna the highest you can in your house or even outside. So using the same bracket, you can use the screws that it came with and screw it straight into a wall. Now if you don't want to screw anything into your house and you have an existing pole outside, you can use this included hardware to attach it to an existing pole outside. It has these wing nuts and all you have to do is tighten it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start putting this together. Now before you mount this antenna, it may be easier to attach the coaxial cable before you start mounting this anywhere. And it looks like it came with a little wrench here that will help you tighten your coaxial cable to the camera. So we are attaching the 25 foot coaxial cable first to this antenna. We're gonna make sure it's nice and tight with this nice included wrench. All right, there it is. All right, so now we have mounted the antenna. So let's put the rest of it together. So we have this 25 foot cable that is connected to the antenna here above. Then we have this adapter that is going to connect to the 25 foot coaxial cable. You could use a little wrench included to make sure it's nice and tight. 
Not sure if you can see it here on this adapter, but here it says antenna, on and off, DC, which is going to be your power, and then two TV. So everything is labeled and will be very easy to install. So we are going to connect this power adapter. We're gonna plug this into the wall, and then we're gonna plug this into the back of the TV. So not sure if you can pick this up on the camera, but the light is currently orange and that's off. Now when you turn it on, it turns green. So we wanna make sure it's green before we start the setup on the TV. All right, so we have it hooked up to power down there. We have it hooked up to the TV. The antenna is mounted up there and we have all the um, access cable there. So now we are going to set it up on this TV. So today we're going to be using this Philips Smart TV. First step we need to do is get over to the right and get to settings. Next, we're gonna go down to where it says channel. Here you'll see it says live TV. Simple way to discover content, download apps and channels, get started. So here on this screen, we're gonna go down to TV and it says not set up, so we are going to set it up. So here on this screen, we're going to choose antenna. That's what we're using today. Here in the screen, it is searching for channels and so far it says it's found 30. All right, so so far it says that it has found 116 channels. All right, so it says channel installation is complete. We're gonna click finish. We're gonna go over to the right, hit done. Okay, 3.1. Three, two. Here we have NBC 4LA. It's full HD. Very nice. Looks very good. Here we have NBC LX. We have Oxygen. We have KTLA. Look how good that looks. Of Court TV, TBD, Rewind TV, KTTV. This is Fox 11 right here. So this is Fox 11, very good. Here is also Fox 11, full HD, breaking up just a little bit. Let's go back one. This is the same channel. So 11.2 is a little uh, iffy there, but you can get the same channel. It looks really good, 11.2. So according to the map, I'm about 30 to 40 miles away from Fox 11 and all the good news channels. So I strongly believe that if this was mounted outside, we would get even more clear channels. Fourteen dash two, fourteen dash twelve. We have some Asian channels.
This one's a Spanish channel. Um, not sure the name of this one, but it is a Spanish channel. This one's Azteca, another um, Spanish channel. Now, if this antenna was mounted outside, your reception would probably be perfect within 30 to 40, 50 mile range um, from, from the towers. Now this is a 75 mile antenna and it is recommended to put it at the highest point and even better if you can put it outside. We have ION 30-1. We have Court TV here, working perfectly. We have DEFI TV, working perfectly. True Real, Laugh. Newsy. News channel, HSN, working perfectly. So for my Latino uh, viewers here, we have Univision, looks perfectly. Unimas, perfect. You can watch all your novellas. We have Bounce, we have Crime TV, I am actually impressed with this antenna, very impressed. TBN, Smile. KXLA, CNO TV, Skylink. These are all the um, Skylink. For my Asian viewers, SkyCan. So right now this antenna is going to be right in the Fontana Rancho Cucamonga here in California borderline. So on the Rancho Fontana borderline. We have Unimas for my Spanish speaking. And you know for my Spanish speaking audience, there's only a few channels that our parents be watching, which is Univision, Telemundo, Unimas, so if you live in this area, or you can get on the map and see that you can get these channels with this antenna, it's gonna be a great antenna for you. 46-5, 50 50-1 PBS, PBS2, we have Daystar. Now I can't leave these on the screen too long because I will get copyrighted on YouTube. So I'm trying to skip through these pretty quickly so I don't get hit. Here we have Telemundo working perfectly. Tele, tele Exitos. Looks like that's a Spanish um, movie channel. Another, another Spanish. I didn't even know there was more than four or five out there. Got some Vietnamese channels. Perfect picture. We at Sky. VBS.
Asian community channels. A lot of great channels. All right, this one's breaking up a little. Retro. Bounce. And that's it. That's all the channels we had. Now, before you click off this video, I wanna make sure that you purchase the correct antenna. We need to figure out the distance between you and the towers. In order to do that, you need to go to the website antopusa.com. You're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says service, and then you'll see a link that says signal maps. Here you will be able to put your zip code. I'm gonna put my zip code in. Here on this page, you will see some important information. It says default antenna installation height is 30 feet above ground level. So the higher you can put this antenna, the better reception you will have. So we're gonna click search. Here you'll see the map of where you're located and how far the antennas are. So if you scroll down, you'll see all the channels. You'll see green, and then you'll start seeing yellow with the channels that are a little bit farther away. All the links that you need will be down in the description. Now, before you guys go, take a look at this. We're gonna be doing another similar review on this 85 mile range antenna. So make sure that you guys are subscribed. That is all I have for you today. If this video has been helpful, or if you have any questions, make sure you put them down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.